um, <coughs> I'll call um, uh, the Honourable David um, Cunliffe. Well, thank you, Mr Chairman. I rise to take a short call in support of the bill along with my colleagues. And, sir, I, I acknowledge that we're in the committee stage on part two. Uh, but as the Chair will be aware, Part 2 contains uh, almost all of the operative provisions of the Bill and therefore it is appropriate, I think, um, that we're able to traverse in, in reasonable breadth the guiding principles uh, of the Bill and the way it will be implemented. Uh, sir, the first uh, point which is germane to Labor's support of this Bill is that it pertains to residents and citizens of the realm of New Zealand. The Cook Islands, Niue, Tokelo, those are not entirely separate constitutional entities, they are part of the realm of New Zealand. And so when we go back to first principles, we ask ourselves, is it appropriate that they should enjoy uh, the rights of other New Zealand citizens to uh, pension entitlements? Uh, then in principle there is a very strong argument that they should. The second argument which we've considered, sir, is the fact that those communities have made a significant contribution uh, to New Zealand and that large parts of their historic population, high proportions of their current population, are ordinarily resident in New Zealand. And therefore, the productive lives of many of their sons and daughters have been spent in New Zealand and have enriched our country. Um, sir, so therefore there is an argument, I think a very powerful argument, that it is appropriate uh, that, uh, that both those sons and daughters and their parents ought to be able to enjoy the benefits uh, of a funded uh, retirement in uh, the Cooks, Niue and Tokelau. Uh, thirdly, sir, I think it's uh, germane, and as a former health minister and immigration minister, I'm, I'm informed by past practice and precedent here, it's germane to note uh, that uh, New Zealand's economic interests are probably well served by this bill. And the reason is that uh, we all know that there are significant advantages to ageing in place. We leave aside for, for a moment the issue of being trans-border. Um, we know that our own uh, senior citizens often prefer to live in their own homes for as long as they can uh, before uh, health issues overtake them and they need to move into a retirement care facility. In the same way, there are distinct advantages to people being able to live in the islands if that's where they've grown up and they've had their families and their memories. Uh, and sir, it also means that they probably will be a lower economic cost to the New Zealand health system uh, based in uh, those island countries, sir. And so while there's an upfront cost to making uh, the pension portable, uh, sir, there's a downstream saving uh, to our health system. So those upfront costs are... <coughs> Uh, they are significant, but they're not insurmountable. According to officials' analysis, uh, we are looking uh, to, to at, at roughly an extension of around four and a half uh, to five million dollars per annum uh, by 2016-17, um, with administration costs uh, to the new legislation of uh, between 70 and 137 thousand dollars. Uh, up to 2016, declining to 66,000 thereafter. Um, in terms of the broad numbers, sir, those are not huge numbers. And given the principles that uh, we've enunciated, sir, at the start, which are the contributions of those peoples to New Zealand uh, and our close constitutional relationship with those parts of the realm, uh, sir, it's certainly uh, our view uh, that those costs are well warranted and indeed offset. Um, by savings uh, to the health system. So let me uh, note in relation to this part uh, another set of interests which are well served. New Zealand, sir, is uh, historically located in the southwest Pacific. This is our strategic front yard. Those parts of the realm of New Zealand, as the world becomes ever more complex, have never been more important for us to hold close, hold dear, and hold intact. That is a contribution to New Zealand's national security, sir, uh, which is not to be underestimated. And therefore, sir, this is one of those happy coincidences of both principle and interest. Principle, because of the considerable contribution that residents of those parts of the realm of New Zealand have made to the broader New Zealand society and economy. 
Uh, it is a contribution which is well known to those of us from West Auckland, which has a high population of peoples of those communities. Mr Chair. Uh, call Carmel Cipollone.